Despite a high COVID caseload, the hospital authority revealed that less than a third of about 100 patients referred to private hospitals daily are transferred successfully. A representative of the private sector blamed the low rate on a number of factors. Joanna Ho reports. Private Hospitals Association Chairman William Ho cited the situation at St. Paul's Hospital, which he manages, saying only about 40 percent of the patients the hospital authority wanted to transfer had been sent over successfully. Health Chief Lo Chung Ma recently urged private hospitals to take in more non-COVID patients to alleviate the pressure on the public health care system. But Ho said several factors, including patients' willingness and administrative difficulties, should be taken into account. For instance, patients may think it's cumbersome to transfer, especially if they can be discharged soon. And some public hospital doctors might suddenly reject a move if a patient's condition changes. Ho accused some public hospitals of being negligent in sending over patients' information, saying there were times when a transferred patient had to go back for examination because of missing documents. Hospital Authority Chief Executive Tony Ko, meanwhile, said about 100 patients were referred to private hospitals every day, but usually only 20 to 30 could be sent over. He urged private hospitals to act faster, saying they sometimes took a long time to decide whether to accept a patient. Ko said it's hard for public hospitals to wait a day or two because of a quick patient turnover. Lo, meanwhile, said he understood the administrative difficulties encountered by both sides, but stressed that figures don't lie. He said, of the 364 beds offered by 13 private hospitals, only about 55 percent were used, while three hospitals did not receive any transfers. Joanna Ho, HKIBC.